all right so for those of you that don't follow strive or whatever they have this online issue where this guy was just going in and and everything up he was changing people's names wasn't letting people play their games right he was doing everything that can cause mayhem and destruction and this first happened a few months ago right that was the first time it's like okay then they either solved it or hacker man just stopped giving it right the dude was like i don't care anymore I i've had enough fun dunking on everybody who plays at least on the pc version of the game right well i guess it would affect crossplay too if you're playing somebody on pc who's on console right and lo and behold the person's back or the issues are back right so you know here's just a couple examples right they they mainly target streamers because obviously it's easy head hunting so any of you that are defending arxis just get off their dick just get off their dick right now bro this is inexcusable all right so here's sajam when bedman came out you know good old sajam right you know the boy you know you all say you sajam here guys i'm trying to play bedman and uh hacker man you know He's, uh, he's just fucking up the servers, dude. I mean, Arxis, you guys gotta do something about this. He's mad. So, you know, here's Sajam, right? Oh. Is this for real? Like, right. you just can't play the game? Now, the hacker man exists, so the game is just in slow mo. So, poor, poor Sajam, right? He just wants to play the fucking video game. I understand, Sajam. Can't play the game. Well, we got to make another Twitter video. Hey, what's up, everybody on Twitter? So as you can see, Hacker Man is back in Strive. Bedman just came out. I'm trying to play him. But uh, it turns out we there's still issues. So, you know, Sajam had his experience, right? It's funny because uh, he even makes a follow-up tweet, right? Where he's like, this is mine and Kizzy K's chance to hide from Hacker Man and play Bedman, right? When he was at DreamHack, he posted this, right? Talking about it, whatever. You know, Yahozi too, right? Yahozi trying to play a uh, game. My name's Yahozi. I would appreciate it if you stopped doing this. Actually, Hacker Man, you've fallen into my trap, okay? I, I need you to, I need, I have some, I have a Is request. that a cat? I think that's a cat. Uh, I, th I think Yahozi has a cat. Could you stop? <laughs> That's my request. I would like it if you didn't do this. See, look at yeah. Hacker Man oh, was like, you. oh, okay, I got you. You know what? I'm gonna let you play the game. Thank you, Hacker Man. That's really nice of you. Thank you. You yes, ask and thou shalt receive. So Arx has put out a statement, dude. And the the absolute gall from these mother They said, and I quote, uh, thank you for your continued interest in Guilty Gear Strive. First, we would like to sincerely apologize for the inconvenience caused by the network issues that have been affecting the game. Our team has made it our top priority to identify the cause of the issues and we can continue doing our best to resolve them. We have currently identified the cause of a large impact on the issues with the network mode and are actively working together with related parties on improvements to address the problem. We have received many inquiries regarding certain network problems believed to be caused by malicious hacking. However, from our current investigation, we have determined there is a high likelihood of an unrelated non not human induced cause behind this pro these problems we are currently carefully investigating the situation not human induced no matter which way you look at this it's fucking terrible it's either hey our servers are so fucking bad that they're just not stable after a certain amount of time this is the second time this has happened or there is somebody fucking up the servers but we're not gonna admit that we're so bad at coding and security protocol we don't want people to know that we don't know what we're doing. The one or the other. Either way you look at it, it's a fucking shit show. It's terrible. It's, it's inexcusable. For those of you defending them, no, get off their dick. What's wrong with you? There's no reason a studio this big should have issues like this. When did CFN have problems like this? Not even not even Dragon Ball has these problems. This is Bandai, thank you, Tekken. Tekken has cheaters, but not like this. Uh, kind of impressive how bad this is. Yeah, leave my small indie company alone. You're right. 180 people in Arsis. As soon as you have enough employees to need an HR, you're not a small company anymore. Although the exact method is yet to be determined, we're currently working on a patch to address issues caused by the connection processing and to improve certain connection processes. The release time will be announced once the patch is ready. We appreciate your continued patience. And finally, we sincerely apologize for any obscurity in our communication and for the delay regarding our company's ongoing efforts to address these recent issues with the game and improve online network stability and security. Your continued patronage is very important to us and we will do everything in our power to further enhance your Guilty Gear Strive game experience. We thank all users for your support and understanding. Now, I don't play Strive, right? You're probably like, how does this affect you? 
It doesn't. But I feel for my friends that play Strive, right? There's no excuse for a small indie company with like maybe 10 people on the team to be having these issues, bro. It's crazy. It's been, this again, this is the second time. And they're saying it's not actually a person. I don't know who this hacker man is. Like, no. They, they can't take fault when there is fault, when there is blame. This thing has been going on for like two weeks, right? Where was the communication? Where is the transparency? Why did it take this long for you to make a statement that you could have written up in a couple days, max? But what, do I have any strivers in chat? I need to know, has, has this impacted you guys in any capacity? It was impacting my coaching for a bit. See, that's already a problem. I honestly refuse to try and play the game, fucking with my bag. Yeah, Javi, there, I got people out here defending the Arxis about this. And I'm like, get off their dick. I'm not saying all of you are on their dick, but any of you that defends them in the slightest, get off their dick, bro. They're not some small company. This is not the first time they've tangled with Hacker, man. We can't enter brackets. They all shut down because of this clownery. Arxis don't have the technology. I'm I'm pretty sure they probably fucking waited it out to see if the dude would just stop, right? They're probably like, fuck, I, we don't want to spend manpower on this. We don't want to spend money and resources. Let's give it some time to see if they persist. And lo and fucking behold, dude. Now, I don't know if this is true, but I was reading, God, maybe you could fucking tell me if this happened to you, Javi. I was reading that the dude was like sending messages through our code to people. Is this true? Is that actually true? The guy was just sending people messages through our code? I know he was changing names. Or they were changing names. I think they're getting I think they're getting their ass beats in the D and the and the quote tweets. Let's look at the quote tweets real quick. There is no hacker man in Guilty Gear Strive. Oh dude. Okay. Arx's server on the way to purposefully mess around with streamers and players in a really specific way with no human input whatsoever. Fixed it for you. Oh shit. Yeah, Capcom has this hacker on the payroll. Capcom wouldn't even need to do that. <laughs> <laughs> Laughers is just making jokes. Like, Street Fighter 6 is gonna do fine. They would not have to fuck with another game. If ha the Hacker Man issues are not by a human, then what do they mean? These issues absolutely tell your specific streamers, and we have been sent messages that were definitely written by you and further elaborations needed. Otherwise, this post isn't very encouraging. I think. Thank you, SQ. Yeah, so I I I'll take SQ's word on this, Capcom, right now. <laughs> Yeah, dude, this is like this is possibly worst case scenario for strive Because uh, this will just have a lot of people are probably gonna jump ship already To cap go to Capcom to Street Fighter 6, but even more people are gonna jump ship now, right? This is like as This is as bad as whoever manages marketing and horizon zero dawn Because they put out the trailer the same day as the tears of the kingdom final trailer that person in marketing needs to be fired. So yeah, everyone, everyone's cooking them, right? Again, I don't play the game, but I keep up with the scene quite a little bit. You know, not too much, but I do keep up with it a little bit. So for those of you that are saying I'm being dramatic by saying Arxis is destroying their own game, when you have the literal top players of the game saying, hey, this is inexcusable, you guys are doing a terrible job. Is that what it takes for you guys to be like, oh, maybe Mr. Streamer's right? Even though he's very knowledgeable about multiple scenes and multiple players, even from games he doesn't play. Fuck that guy. Argus is doing their best. No. It's inexcusable. Somehow, they even- Bro even got Yohozi in training mode, dog. That's impressive. Yohozi's not even online anymore. Yohozi's on training mode. And she can't even play the damn game. <laughs> like, bro. Look! <laughs> Young Out of 4. That's impressive. Lee Bad. Can't even play offline anymore. Them saying the Hacker Man problem is not caused by an actual human as well. What kind of non human induced cause would specifically target only players who appear at medium and large streams and tournaments? It's a person. A person trying to get a reaction. Yeah, Wrath gets it. Shout out to boy Wrath. I hope Wrath be doing well, dude. So, yeah, their negligence. And just the sheer audacity to deny that it is a person that has specifically targeted people in tournaments and events is appalling. And I don't need people sitting here being like, oh my god, thank you for acknowledging it. No! That's the bare minimum. That's the bare goddamn minimum. That's like, 
Yeah, that's right. My girlfriend's like, let him know. Oh my god. Y'all gotta stop selling for the bare minimum, dude. Well, whatever the cause or the reason may be, this is not the first time they've had this issue, right? First time, okay, unknown, random, Hacker Man came in, fucked shit up, boom. I don't even know if they actually, if their patch actually did anything, or if Hacker Man just stopped giving a fuck. Right, I don't know all the details, and then they're not gonna put out all the details, right? But, the fact that it's happened again, it's been two weeks, at least, since it's been public knowledge, it's, it's unforgivable. So yeah, that's just what I wanted to talk about today, Arx is shedding the bed, and having this big issue that took them about two weeks to acknowledge and their statement wasn't very encouraging due to the fact that they're ignoring the fact that it is man-made right and they're like oh it's an error on our end more than likely instead of saying yeah our code was so weak that and it's not even a problem you got bigger companies like ea and respawn getting ddos every other day right i know it's weird when something an issue is brought up to devs and they're just like no nah, that can't be it are you on youtube right you guys have any experiences and please don't defend arxis it's too late it's don't be like they put out a statement yeah two weeks down the line you stop we got to go back to bullying devs to making a good product we're doing such a good job but we can't stop if you have any questions comments concerns please let me know in the comments um if you've experienced anything please let me know I highly suggest you try different games in the meantime till this issue is resolved. If you never look back, I don't blame you because this is definitely our taste in a bunch of people's mouths, especially on the competitive side of things where people can't even play, can't even stream. And yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next one. The plot twist, it was cloud all along. Yeah, dude, I've done did the thing.